Hi guys, my name is Yaman. I'm 13 years old and I'm studying at Jumingyi High School for the Gifted in Ho Chi Minh City. Today, I'm gonna talk about the fear of missing out, aka FOMO. So, what is FOMO? It is a feeling of anxiety that arises when we feel like we are not keeping up with the experiences of others. Sounds unfamiliar, right? So, let me give you some of the most significant symptoms of this syndrome in modern society. Firstly, you are obsessed with your phone. Have you ever found yourself constantly scrolling, shaking, and messaging on your phone several hours without even realizing? Or you felt hard to put down your phone even just for 10 minutes? If the answer is yes, then there might be a high chance that you are having FOMO because the syndrome could commonly come in the form of wanting to feel involved in other people's life. Next, you are always trying new things, trying new things from your genuine wishes to have new experience and push your limits is good. But we are talking about the kind of things that don't really matter to you or you don't even care. In other words, you just want to be on the trend. These kind of behavior not only waste your time, but it also makes you slowly forget what your true interests are. And if you are using English, you'll probably know the word no and oh, what a funny little two letter word, but it's actually making many people hesitant to say it out loud. The reason for this don't only come from the feeling of not wanting people to be hurt from rejection, but it's also come from the fear of missing something important when they resist an offer. So now we've already know how to spot a person with FOMO. Let's dive deeper into the reasons that people have this particular feeling. One biggest cause is social media. The false reality of perfect life that social media presents makes it seem like everyone is having their amazing fun things happen all at once and you're the only one who doesn't have it. This can affect your perception of reality, lower your self-esteem, and make you feel miserable. Talking about self-esteem, analysis shows a significant association between low self-esteem and FOMO. Human's natural behavior is comparison. When a person who has low self-esteem uses social media and see pictures of a pretty girl traveling at a nice beach, they tend to compare those with what they already had or didn't have which trigger their anxiety and they will start creating a false world where everyone is happy and living their best moments except them. Luckily, FOMO is preventable. There are multiple ways to overcome it. You can try to learn to love yourself. It's an easy way to raise your self-esteem in the long run. Or practice SHOMO, aka the joy of missing out. To do this, you'll need to focus on the present, enjoy missing things, and understand that no one can do everything. Just put your energy in the one that will get you better. And finally, set personal goals, focusing on self-improvement and creating motivation from internal sources can help you feel more confident in yourself and stop comparing to others. Thank you for listening. Goodbye and have a nice day.